Hello YouTube, I'm bringing you a different type of video today and it's going to be about my budget gear that I use to create YouTube videos. There you go, I'll give you a little sun. <laughs> We have some rough seas today. <laughs> oh, let me make a disclaimer first, is that I'm not paid or endorsed or sponsored by any of these products. I'm purely showing you guys what I use and what I've experienced to help you um, spend less money but be able to have a complete kit that you can take out and use. I feel like for the money that I've spent on equipment, the quality of the videos I can produce is very well. Um, I'm not going to boast and say that I'm the best video producer ever, because um, I'm definitely still an amateur, I have a very small channel, but just over the videos that I've started posting since September, um, I've seen a vast improvement. It's a fun little, it's a fun little adventure to go on. I feel like that I see other videos and they're promoting $1,000 lenses. Um, everyone's using the newest and greatest GoPro Hero 7, which is cool, but it's also like $400, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. What I'm going to show you guys is that you can create good quality video for a relatively decent price. It's going to cost you a little bit, but you piece stuff together and then you end up having a full kit and you can go out and almost record and video anything. We'll go ahead and start. I'll introduce you guys to my main camera that I'm using right now. It is the Canon SL2, and I'm using the basic 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. And of course, you see that there is a Rode, uh, I think it's a Video Go. What I really like about the um, SL2, it's a great price. It records video, it's got an APS-C sensor. You can change out the lenses with Canon's um, EF and EFS mounts which is a huge broad range of lenses and some you can get for relatively cheap. Uh, sticking with cameras, it's my Mavic Pro. It does a really great job. The footage is beautiful. The battery life is long. It's super compact and it has the OcuSync technology to where I can fly this thing way further than I'll ever need to. Make sure you read your rules and directions before just flying a drone because there's a lot of rules. So just pay attention to them. You know, you know how to do that. Use the internet. We're gonna stick to the cameras. So, good old tried and true GoPro Hero 5. It's super awesome. It's totally waterproof. It's been a reliable, trusty camera. What I really like about this is that it has the built-in back LCD screen. So you can actually set up your shot, see what you're shooting, and click record without pulling your phone out. I always think um, the easier it is to see what you're framing and start recording, and the less gadgets and gizmos you have, the more likely you are, you are to record. I didn't want to spend three to four hundred dollars on another GoPro, Hero 5, 6, or 7, and then have to buy an adapter, which I'll show you right here. That adapter's 80 bucks, or at least it was when I, I went to go look at them. And that's big, that's extra gear, that's a, that's a brick that you have to connect a microphone, then buy and connect a microphone to, to get good audio. So what I did, Hero 4 Black, it shoots 4K at 30, great video quality, but my favorite thing about the Hero 4, all you need to connect the GoPro Hero 4 to a lapel microphone is this. And it plugs in. There you go. That's all it takes. You can also get housings uh, that have a hole on the side. And so all I have to do is plug this guy right into the port. Boom. And it's good to go. It's ready to record. So the main accessories that I use for my GoPros, uh, number one is the action hat. Got him. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> this is sick. This is another good one, dude. Look at this guy. It's a really, it's a great product. And it floats, guys. Go check out uh, the Action Hat lineup of products. They, they make some cool stuff. Um, a simple off-brand Gorillapod looking thing. Um, I can't tell you the exact name of it because it's an off-brand, but it's the same thing. It's, it's the bendy pod. So you can bend it around, hook it on, whatever. 
because especially with the GoPro, it's one of the best things you can get because you just want to throw a GoPro on anything. Um, the clamp, the GoPro clamp, I definitely use that a lot. This isn't a GoPro brand, it's the same top brand, same thing. Uh, just the headband is always great. Whenever you don't feel like wearing a hat or if it's cold outside and you're wearing a beanie, just having a basic head strap, it's great to have too. Major accessories that I use for my SL2 is uh, the Joby Gorillapod. I actually went name brand on this guy and bought the Joby. The uh, ball head that you see whenever you look these up, it's actually on the tripod I'm using right now to record this. So it's not on here, but it usually would be. You can hook it to anything, stand it up. If I bring my camera, my DSLR anywhere, this is coming and that's it. I don't even bring a tripod. The road video might go. There's no need for a battery. Love that because once you start recording stuff, you know that batteries are king and you're going to need a whole slew of them. Um, so the, the Go just plugs in to your camera, you're recording, and you get this audio. This is exactly the audio that I'm using for this entire video. My other Canon accessory is another lens. The 10 to 18 millimeter is an incredible vlogging lens, especially if I'm on the kayak and I don't want to hold the camera way out over the water. I can, I can zoom out to 10 millimeters. Hold it right here and you get me plus the whole background. Uh, and of course the lens that's on it right now, on the SL2 right now, is a Canon 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens. Now moving on, I will talk about the first bag that I'll show you guys. Boom. Right. It is called a Zebro. It's just a Zebro dry bag off Amazon. Um, I put everything in this bag. I roll it down and I just throw it into the nose of the kayak. I know it's in a dry bag. I know it's safe. Uh, also a really great part is that it has backpack straps. The next thing that I use, and I've kind of used it less since I've got the dry bag, it's a Mavic Pro case. It's got a slot for the drone, the remote, three batteries, and extra sides over here for any other little oddman things you want to throw in. It's a really good case, it's not very thick, it's manageable, it's hard. I could throw this and it wouldn't mess anything up inside. Alright, so that's my essential camera gear that I take out on the kayak, on the sailboat, to the beach. You'll see me use the same pieces of gear in every video. Of course I didn't buy all this at once, that would be ridiculous. But I built my kit over time and you know, I got the things that were essential. I've also bought things that were uh, I thought would work well, they don't, uh, and you know, but that comes with learning and that's also why I'm making this video, is to try and help you spend less money, but also get more out of your money. Even if you just have a cell phone, just get out there, record some video, and throw it up on YouTube. The more you do it, the better you get at it, and I promise that it will be rewarding in the end. So if, you'd, uh, if you found this insightful, go ahead and just like this video. And I would really appreciate it if you guys subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm going to start putting out more and more content. That was my one of my New Year's resolutions. Again, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm in it to limit, and I'll see you around. <laughs>